Hi, kids! My name is Sony, and today I'm here to talk to you about why Amtrak is the best thing that ever happened to railroads in America, and why Amtrak is the future of sustainable rail passenger transportation. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why do we even have you? And how did you even get here in the first place? Because Amtrak is more better grammar, more better than you two and your two railroads combined. Well, Nathan and I are actually from the same railroad technically, so yeah. Right, and you don't gotta be a dick about it either. Besides, I don't see what's so special about Amtrak anyway. What? Yeah. First off, you in particular are stupid. Second, all your damn trains look the same. Just the silver with the red, white, and blue stripes. Three, you're the disease that enroached itself on the face of railroading. And four, you're the ones who destroyed the great passenger trains that came before you. All of them. You idiot! You don't realize that you should be thankful for what Amtrak has done. You realize that without Amtrak, there would be no passenger trains right now? I mean, seriously, what do you mean by we destroyed the great passenger trains that came before us? I realize there would be no passenger trains without Amtrak, but seriously, you destroyed great passenger trains, like the California Zephyr, the Coast Daylight, the Minutemen, the Super Chief, the frickin' Empire State Express, the 20th Century Limited, the City of Los Angeles. God, need I say more? Oh, so what? All those other trains were like a million bajillion times worse before the Amtrak services came along. Besides, some of those services you mentioned had been reinstated by Amtrak. The Coast Daylight is now the Coast Starlight. The Super Chief is now the Southwest Chief. And at least the California Zephyr still operates, only under our name. And besides, Amtrak made them all better. Because, as I've said, Amtrak is like a million, bajillion, tentillion times better than all those other service that, services that came before us. And besides, if it weren't for our sponsorship, you wouldn't be able to run your excursions down the Tidewater Point main line like you already can. Actually, Dweeb, if you would have done a quick Google search, you would have found out that the Tidewater Point Railroad is a revenue-making company that believes in the restoration and preservation of steam locomotives. They believe in running steam engines on their revenue freights and passenger trains. We don't need your sponsorship to run our passenger specials. Oh, really? Well, then if that's the case, then what's up with the two Amtrak dome cars right over there? I mean, seriously, why you got those? Those are clearly Amtrak. Oh, yeah, and what's with the Amtrak Amfleet lounge car right over there? I mean, that's like the, some of the newest stuff on Amtrak's roster. If Amtrak is not your sponsor, then surely it must be if you have an Amfleet lounge car. First off, I'll have you know that the reason we have those two full-length dome cars is because they are of historical significance. Both of those were rescued after they were retired from Amtrak because they used to be used on the Great Northern Empire Builder. Also, we only have the Amfleet Lounge because our railroad is struggling to make money, so we decided to include a dining car on our trains. But we don't have the money to afford one, so that's why we're borrowing one from Amtrak. He does put up a valid point, you know. Well, gee, you two are still clearly Amtrak haters. Besides, I don't know why I should be taking opinions from a big black tin can anyway. I mean, seriously, Nathan, shouldn't you have been scrapped long ago? Dude, why did you offend him like that? Because he is an un-American atheist scum who doesn't realize he should be thankful for Amtrak. 
Still, though, scrapping is a very sensitive subject when it comes to Nathan, okay? He doesn't like to talk about it after what he had to go through back in the 1950s when the CNO was retiring their steam locomotives. And quite frankly, he doesn't like to be reminded about it by pompous dicks like you. I would've lived through it. Besides, shouldn't you have been scrapped a long time ago, too? I mean, when were you built? The 1960s? I mean, like, you're a million years old. The railroads don't want you anymore. You should be scrapped along with Nathan, you old toaster oven. What did you just call me? You heard me. I just called you an old toaster oven. <laughs> You little piece of s You know what, Sony? Fuck you! And just for being such a pompous ass dick. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Something that should have been done to you a long time ago. Well, that happened. Thank God and good riddance. Two more seconds with that guy and I would have blown my safety valves. Do you think all Amtrak diesels are like that? Well, now that I think about it, I guess it really depends the engine. I mean, the newer ones are probably like him, but I wonder what the old Amtrak diesels are like. Like the F-45s and the SDP-40Fs. Eh, you're probably right. Probably because they know what it's like to be retired and forgotten about, so to say.